everyone and welcome to today's video. This week we are actually back to ponies and we have a generation 1 cotton candy that seems to have been in some sort of kitchen accident maybe <laughs> and it's very very yellow. I get the impression that this is not rust, that this is oil, but we will figure that out soon. <laughs> in any case I think we can still repair it. And to be honest, when I picked this pony, I didn't realize it was the Hong Kong version, so like the, the classic variant. I thought it was supposed to be orange, but no, it's actually pink underneath. And it should have pink hair as well, as you can see here. So we got some work to do, but I am quite excited to show you this transformation because I think it's going to be a drastic one, at least in terms of color. So let's get started. We're going to start with a gentle wash <laughs> and to do this we need to take the head off and remove the tail. Here you can see the actual color of the pony and I think we can get it even cleaner. I'm honestly still wondering what this substance is. I feel it's something related to food but I'm, I don't know, oil? <laughs> Engine oil? <laughs> but let's remove the tail and see what we <laughs> have here. If these marks were coming from the back of the pony, I would expect this to be rust coming from the tail topper. However, as you can already see here, the topper is in perfect condition. It's pristine, actually. It looks like a rabbit. <laughs> okay, let's pull it out and take a look at this. So it's very dry and it's very white. <laughs> it should be pink. You can kind of see the color here, although this is also a bit lighter than the original. So let's remove the topper and we're going to separate the tail for another treatment. But first things first, time for a bath. I'm going to be using warm water, uh, some dish soap and a toothbrush. <laughs> and I know this cleaning is going to do very little for these marks. However, I feel like this pony needs a nice wash after being who knows where. <laughs> so we're going to wash it and also it will, that way it will be less sticky and a bit nicer to handle. I'll leave you with some cleaning sounds, I'll be right back. I'm also going to use this soap to clean the tail and the hair, although we're going to do another treatment afterwards. I keep calling them treatments. <laughs> another step uh, with some conditioner. But why not take advantage of the soapy water? And we are done with the bath. As I was getting ready for this step, we got a little visitor, <laughs> Bruno. He's very thin, but don't worry, he's very healthy. He's just a very old boy. And he's very adorable and he lives on my lap, so he's very close to the table. But of course he's not allowed to be around hydrogen peroxide or anything like that. Um, so he wasn't too happy about having to move. But he's highly motivated by food and fast. <laughs> so I have to give him some attention before we can move on. I thought I would show him to you even though he's a bit scary looking, but he's so cute. And I have cat hair and drool all over my hands. This is a very hazardous hobby. <laughs> so anyway, let's apply the hydrogen peroxide cream, which is also known as salon cream, I think. Some people use it for bleaching hair and stuff like that. And be careful, I almost forgot <laughs> here, but be careful because this is very, very um, dangerous for your skin. It can actually burn your skin. So always use it wearing gloves. I also want to point out here <laughs> that I love this, I don't know, man bun on the pony because <laughs> this pony had quite short hair and I was debating whether to like remove it and re-hair. Decided to leave it as it is and I'm already planning for a future project where we have a man bun pony. <laughs> yes. This is not actual footage of this one pony, but you get the idea. <laughs> I got distracted and didn't record the proper one. Let's see what the pony looked like before the peroxide and UV light. And... Ta -da! 
is not the pony's good side, but you get the idea. <laughs> it's pink. It's so pink. As you can see, there are still marks, but after a week in the chamber, I thought, what if this is actually not something you can uh, fix with peroxide and instead we give it a chance with acetone because I still feel like this is some kind of substance that got stuck to the pony and it's not something that's coming like from inside like rust would do and I'm happy to report <laughs> that my first impression was correct as you can see here acetone actually does remove <laughs> this mark I'm sure with the UV chamber like give it two three months and the result would have been the same but I feel that then they all would have been invisible but still there so with that in mind first i used some cotton buds and then i used a cotton uh, pad i think it's called this little circle thing <laughs> and i cleaned all the body and then i went with again the cotton bud and i cleaned between the little um spots <laughs> because there was maybe some uh, nail polish or something in there i also ruined my own nails <laughs> and here is what it looks like after both of these treatment. <laughs> So before we move on to actually recoloring the hair, we need to make sure it's nicely hydrated and soft and to do this we're going to use some conditioner. And the reason why this works, I think, um, from what I understand, is that the conditioner has a lot of silicone in it and silicone really helps with the nylon hair. Now usually I would recommend you use the cheapest conditioner you can find in the supermarket. However, I don't know why, I feel very attached to this pony and I want to give it all the best. So I'm using the conditioner I use for my own hair and my favorite, one of my favorite things in the universe actually, because this smell is so nice. And it's this Aussie conditioner. This is not, not a sponsored video. Anyway, <laughs> you can use conditioner or you can also use fabric softener and apply it, let it rest for about three hours. This is very important so the like silicone goes into the hair and after you wash it off it will smell super nice and be super soft. Okay, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Uh, the next step now is to retint, to recolor the hair to make it pink again. And to do this we're going to use some fabric dye or RIT dye, that's the brand that uh, we use here. I'm not sure if you have the same one but any fabric dye should work. Now I tried a few different ways to do this and I find that the easiest one is just to use some boiling water and then add a few drops or a little bit of powder to it. Then all you need to do is mix it and apply. I use a brush to apply to the mane because I want to make sure it doesn't actually touch the skin because it will also dye the skin. And for this pink, I tend to also add a little bit of yellow. I have a neon yellow that works quite nicely. Although I will let you know right now <laughs> that this is way too much dye. <laughs> it should have been diluted because as you will see very soon, the effect is very dark. Now, I like this color. I did try to put it into some boiling water. You will see now uh, a little later, I think, uh, when I do this to like dilute it but it didn't work, which shows that the red dye is actually very, very powerful. <laughs> and in the end, I decided to leave it like this. There are ways to revert it. Red also uh, sells a powder or a liquid you can use to get rid of all the dye. But I didn't want to put the pony through all of that. <laughs> so anyway, here you might notice that the hair suddenly turned yellow. And while I was doing this, I was thinking, what? How? Did I not mix this well enough? Of course, since you are not me, you probably noticed that when I opened the yellow dye, there were like droplets flying, flying everywhere. And some of those uh, went like under the hair. And then when I was painting the hair, they went in the hair. So there is still some yellow here, but I will get rid of it eventually. <laughs> so here you can see the difference between the before and the after colors. <laughs> A little close up of the process. <laughs> So I did these for one side, then I turned the pony around and I did the other side because some of the, the plaques of hair are obviously in a different row and you can't reach them. So here you can see what it looks like after the first pass. While the hair was still wet, I also went through it with my fingers to make sure it was all like nicely um, mixed. And then I moved on to the tail. Now the correct approach here would have been to use the brush, separate the tail into strands and then paint each so I will have a nice uniform color. But no, because I am anxious, <laughs> I dipped the tail into the red dye and it ended up being really dark. Well, the camera is quite nice, but it is darker than the main. So I decided to put the main into some more boiling water. 
And as you can see, some of the color did come off a little bit. <laughs> Not an impressive amount. <laughs> but in the end, like I said, I thought, well, you know, it's like a custom pony and <laughs> it's a slightly darker shade of pink. And so to make up for it, I decided to also dye the mane again. <laughs> This is like, you know, when you were a kid, maybe, I don't know if you did this, I did this. You will like part your hair in two and then you will cut one side and then the other side will be longer. So you'll cut that one and then it will be too short and you will go back to the first one. But I didn't want this pony to suffer the same fate, so I stopped it here. So let's see what it looks like after all of this. I would say it's not perfect. We are not aiming for perfection <laughs> and it's not a bad color. I'm, I'm okay with it. All right, and now the last step, we need to push the tail back in. There isn't much to this step. <laughs> All we need to do is to find something we can use to push. In this case, I'm going to use one of my brushes. And for this part, that's basically it. <laughs> but just in case, because there used to be a metallic topper before, I'm going to replace that one, which gets quite oxidized usually, with a cable tie. By the way, if you live in the UK, you can find these cable ties in Poundland, for example, or I think they also sell them at like Lidl and those supermarkets that mix food with some other stuff you can buy and they're always fun because there's always something different. And you can buy like a hundred for a pound or something. <laughs> and that's it for the tail. Now I'm going to do some styling off camera because it actually took me ages <laughs> and then all that. And I will show you the results. Okay, let's reminisce <laughs> about the original pony. Yellowed, spotted, unhappy. And here is the after. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed about the bows. <laughs> but I thought they looked so cute. <laughs> I was wondering about how to style like the bob hair because we left it so short. So I thought, well, let's just use some of these ribbons I have. I feel pink and light blue kind of go well together. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> but let me distract you with some more before and bring you back to the after. <laughs> so anyway, this was quite a short restoration or cleanup, I would say. <laughs> but I hope you still enjoyed this little video. If you have any ideas for what to call our little peroxide <laughs> treatment, please let me know. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you again for watching. Have a nice week. Bye bye.